Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday morning. It is the Sunday, the 6th of December, and it is nice out. The sun is coming up. See the sun over there coming up? The sun is coming up. It's a little bit chilly, but I like it. Hi Penny. Hey Penny. Hey, how are you? Ready to eat breakfast there, Gracie? Hmm? Oh, Penny, why don't you turn your back to me? Why is your back turn to me? You want some breakfast? Here. Have some breakfast. Have some breakfast. Oh, don't spill it. Here you go, Gracie. Eat it up. All right, well, I'll get you breakfast. Willow, you, you dropped it all. You dropped it all, Willow. Okay, it's your turn to get out. You ready? Get your harness, your halter here. Wanna put your halter on for me? Put your halter on for me here. There you go. Good girl. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. There we go. Good girl. There we go. I put it on backwards. I put on backwards. Why didn't you tell me? All right. Anyways, I got your carrot. Got your carrot. Want a bite? Take a small bite. Take a small bite. Yeah, I put her halter on backwards. Don't take the whole thing. Don't take the whole thing. Bite it. All right. You got a little bit left. That's for after. That's for after. Okay, let's go. Take it to the arena. Taking her to the arena. The halter backwards. Anyway, it's hard to do that with holding the camera and put on halter. What's that, Penny? You see all your food in there? Let's go, Penny. I'm give you the rest of your carrot after. I got another carrot for you. You want this carrot? Can you take a bite? Oh. Dig a bite. There you go. Good girl. Want the rest? There you go. Good girl, Penny. See you later. Oh, you're coming up to me? You think I have more? No, I don't have any more. Don't have any more now. Oh, she's following me now. She's following me. She wants me now. Look at this. She's following me. You following me, Penny? No? <laughs> All right, see you later. Go eat your hay. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a Sunday. Today, Sophie and I have got our wrapping game on already. It is early. It is 10.30 a.m. Actually, Sophie is... What are you doing, Sophie? Knitting. <laughs> she looks like she's trying to get it done fast as she can. Don't look at the hole in her scarf that she's yeah, knitting. My mom made oh, I, that. I don't my know how mom. it happened. I'm gonna. I made like that much. And I, she made that. I am a veteran knitter and I do not know how that happened. But anyway, she is decided she's gonna start up an Etsy shop with all her knitting and she's gonna make a scarf. There's a couple other errors in there that I did not do. Yeah, you added two stitches before. You added two stitches. You added it. <laughs> Not. I don't need it. Thanks. Go ahead. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Where do you want? Upstairs or in the garbage? I want it. Uh, so Gabby is still sleeping. I have all the things that I bought yesterday that I need to get wrapped up, and then I'm kind of trying to organize the Christmas tree because it's a mess. But after this is it, you guys. This is it. We are done. We are done, right, Sophie? No. You don't think we're done? No. We are done, and the then. Dog toys for the dogs. Yeah, Sophie's a shopaholic. And then after all this is done, everything else that comes underneath this tree between now and Christmas will be from Santa. Will all be from Santa. Hopefully you were a good girl this year, Sophie. As a bad girl. Were you a bad girl? Why? What'd you do? Um got attacked by dogs. Yeah, you are being attacked by dogs. Too much puppy love. If you follow us on Instagram, then you will have seen the video that I posted today 
of Daisy throwing a temper tantrum because I tried to take her, we tried to take her out of my bed every morning and every night. She climbs into my bed, now she just jumps right up there like a regular old dog, curls underneath the covers and then when we, and settles in for a sleep. She looks at me and she tells me I'm going to sleep now. And I'm like, you only got a half an hour because then I'm going to bed. And then we pull back the covers and as soon as we do, she starts growling. It's not like a growl, it's like a moan. It's, you, it's really hard to tell if she's like growling and saying, don't do that, which is bad. Or if it's a moan where she's saying, no, no, don't do it. And that's what she's doing. She doesn't ever have any aggression or any wow. anger or any frustration. She just doesn't want to do it. And then she turns her body into a limp noodle and Sophie has to drag her out. <sighs> Yuck. Every time I turn on the camera, I, I don't know why. Into a limp noodle. I don't. I can't even turn into. I could turn into a limp noodle. That would be a fun challenge. Limp noodle challenge. No, we should try it. Off the couch. Watch what happens. Off. Get down. Get down. <laughs> she only gets down if you walk toward her, and then she'll sneak back up the minute that she can. No. No. Down. down. That's fine. Because the chihuahuas have no protection from her. Yeah, it's true. But the thing is, Daisy will crawl up there and be like on my lap and I'll be snuggling her because it's hard to resist. And then Molly will be staring at me from across the room with her eyes shooting daggers at me because she doesn't understand either. Like, our horses are, all of our dogs are a little in the jealous stage right now. All right, Gabby and I are at the barn and Gabby is shooting a video on her channel so if you want to check that out it could be out in a couple of days or maybe out tonight and it's on uh, she's gonna give uh, Chino a trace cut it'll be her first time doing a trace cut so she's gone out she's gone out to look for Chino and I don't see him anywhere near here so she'd be trekking along to look for him. I was waiting for you. He took a long time. I thought he was missing. That's because he wouldn't walk. He was oh. skating for on like the mud and the rocks. Oh. So. Uh, I didn't close that door. Oh, yeah. Hard walking on hard, muddy. All the mud is frozen now and there's like ruts everywhere. Yeah. Hey, Chino. Ready for your special haircut? water. He was over there eating the bad hay. Oh, Even really? though Tex, Storm, and Finn had a whole um hay, like whole big round bale for themselves. Oh. Yeah. Even though he's eating bad hay. Chino, Chino doesn't really get run off, but he goes away on his own. Huh. He doesn't like herds. He stays by himself. I think it's too cold for a trace cut, man. <laughs> too cold. Too cold for a trace cut, but that's just me. We shaved Newton in winter. Huh. Full body shave without a neck on. The reason why I'm shaving him is because he sweats a lot. Like in summer when he just stands there in the shade or in like a cool barn, he just sweats. And especially in winter when you trot him around for one lap, he's pouring sweat. So it's just easier if we shave him. We are also shaving him now because he's going to get his winter coat really soon and it's going to get really long. So I'd rather do it right now so we already have the baseline done. Alright. That's what it should hopefully look like. Or like that. That one's the lower one. I'm going to be in the middle of that one. And that one. It's all new to me. Okay. So. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand. And watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, 
so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I have most of one side done we have to measure and then mark off where we're not cutting the legs so yeah so much harder than I thought it would be all right guys comment down below is this gonna be a disastrous haircut yes, or not okay we got one side done uh, did you mark off here? Nope. Oh, we got almost one side done. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Woohoo! Alright, Good one, man. Oh, shit, I'm scared. You want me to try? <laughs> It's not cutting. What is it? It's just not working. Let me see it. This razor's not working. I need to get a new razor. If this razor's not working. We need to get a new one. I'm just going to see if it cuts the bridal path. It's going on above you, Chino. It doesn't cut the bridal path. It doesn't cut anything. No, it's just pulling. No, we need those uh, plastic blades, I think, maybe. Okay, we think we got the blade working. Put it, put on there properly, and now we're going to see if it works. It's not working. Not working? Yeah, it works. Don't do that. You can do it different ways, but it won't. Sounds like it's working. No. It's just pulling out here. Alright. Can't do this if the blade's not working. It's Gino, not working. you're lucky you don't get a haircut today, you're but you're all marked up. Let's uh, see if it shaves my head. Want to see if it shaves my head? Yeah. Let me take it into the a room there and see if I can shave my head with it. So I don't know, our razor I guess is no good and uh, we put the new blade on. I put the new blade on twice just to make sure it's on properly. It's on properly but it doesn't want to cut. I don't think uh, the razor is any good. I think we need a new clippers. No, not working. Not working. Well, we tried, Chino. Thanks for your patience, Chino. Yay. You're a patient horse. Yeah. And you can go with your buddies and tell them the story of standing there for an hour being traced out and yeah. not cut. Well, that's a bummer. We need a new, new razor. So, well, that's life. Maybe there's a reason we're not supposed to shave Chino. But some good news and I got some bad news. Bad news is it didn't work. Good news is my boots are warm. Good. Bad news is the razors didn't work. The razor or the, the clipper? Oh, clipper. What was wrong with it? It worked good before. It just doesn't clip the blade to move the blade. Duct tape? <laughs> That's what Gabby suggested. <laughs> you guys think alike. Man, so now I have to go buy a whole new razor set. Yeah, I might get one tomorrow. Oh, where are you going to get it? Right up high. Right, I'm in. I'm down. Anytime you want to go want to go to the other store where I have a $50 coupon. Yeah, that's far. I know, but... Yeah, we could do that. Alright, and just like that, we have a shopping plan for tomorrow. So both Sam and Gabby were at the other barn. We have been getting ready Penny. Getting ready Penny. Getting a Penny ready for our for our ride. Our try a weekly ride. I don't always get a chance to video it. She is going for a ride. She's getting better and better with her girthiness. She's doing so much better. Uh, Sophie braided her hair. We ran out of elastic, so we couldn't finish it. But looking super cute. And, and my arms were like dying. Yeah, and this girl loves her hair braided. She loves her hair messed with. You know she loves all things mom. grooming. You need to come down here, brighter forelock, brighter mane. I know, she'll just, just love it. Just leave it in the whole day. I know, she'll and just love it. it. I know, and then taking it out, she'd love it too. She just loves to have her, her everything rubbed. Which is why I have such a good 
thing I planned for you this week, Penny. She's like, a good thing? What is it? You are getting something amazing happening to you this week. I'm sad for Cabby. Like she's been looking forward to, to trimming her first horse, trimming Chino for like so long. And now here she is. The clippers didn't work. I got those clippers for free though. Tried them, made sure they worked and they did work. So I don't know, maybe we'll get something extra special tomorrow and then we'll try again. But here's the problem. I was so excited for it to be Sunday and her to go and trim her horse so that Sam could go with her. <laughs> But now he's gonna be back at work and it's gonna be my job. But look at this. This sucker was brand new yesterday. When we first bought Penny and brought her home, she had a salt lick in here and she didn't touch it for oh, that's days and days and days. And then she chewed it to bits. Like she just was chewing. She and then ended it. up all the way on the ground. Landed on the ground, yeah. So she's licking this one, but wow, she must have licked the whole night long. All right, Miss Penny Pickle. Let's head out. Look at all that fur on she's that bum. Excited. Yeah, she's like crass. I was just telling Sophie, Sophie, I'm sorry, but I trained her to eat grass by mistake. I trained her that going outside is all about the grass. She'd be like, grass! Apparently, it's minus two degrees, which is chilly, but all the ground is completely like mushy and soft and kind of muddy. So hopefully we do okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sophie will tell her. Sophie be like, and she listens. She might be stronger than me, she said. But she listens. Oh, look at her. I recently had a dream. Actually, before I got Penny, I had a dream, a couple of dreams, that Sophie plays a big part. That Penny plays a big part in mine and Sophie's journey. I love both those little girls out there. I love all three of these girls out here. I have a thing for black and white. Even though Molly is Gabby's dog, she is my barn girl. She comes to the barn with me every single time I come to the barn. Same with Sam. But if I leave the barn, she comes with me. I know, she's so calm. I don't know about this last week, she has calmed down like insane amounts. Like she's just relaxed, her head hanging down. Like she is a happy girl lately. Yeah. This is my fresh, amazing girl, you guys. Like. I love this horse. Making plans, what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. I just wanna hold you close. My heart is literally bursting out of my chest right now. Like, you know that feeling when you have just so much excitement and happiness and pride? Like, I love her. Like, she, she's getting better and better every single week that she lives with us. What? I know, look at how low her head is. Sophie and I are both thinking the same thing at the same time. Like, that's what we want. I want her to relax. And she's relaxing. Oh my goodness. God knows that I've been longing for you. I just want to hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk. And we can follow the moon. Until we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any Chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful kissing 